Welcome to Grace for All, a daily devotional podcast produced by the Congregation of First United Methodist Church in Maryville, Tennessee. Thank you for joining us today. This devotion was written by Charlie Barton and read by Don King. Romans 3 verses 23 through 25 says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God hath set forth to be a propitiation through faith in His blood, to declare His righteousness for the remission of sins that are past through the forbearance of God. Sin? What, me? Unfortunately, it doesn't take a lot of seeking for me to find instances where I have come short of the glory of God. Verse 23 provides an unachievable measuring stick and nails us all. Old habits revisited, harsh words spoken, kind words left unspoken, times of impatience, inattention to the needs of others. Too often, we measure ourselves against the Ten Commandments and not the greatest commandments. How honestly can I say that I have loved the Lord my God with all my heart? with all my strength, and with all my mind, and my neighbor is myself. When the glory of God is the standard, how can I ever hope to measure up? What hope is there for any of us? Even as it doesn't take much seeking to find our failings, it happily doesn't take much seeking to find our hope. The answer is in the very next verse. Being justified freely by His grace, through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Grace is freely given to all those who seek. And as Matthew 7, 7-8 through 8 says, Ask, and it will be given you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened unto you. For everyone who asks receives. The one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Ask, seek, knock. Grace is for the receiving. Grace for all. Christ Jesus will forever be our hope. Let's pray. Dear God, help us to never lose our hope for redemption. Help us to never quit seeking for what you have promised. You have promised that your grace is sufficient for us all. Thank you. Amen. In 1740, John Wesley, the founder of the Methodist movement, preached a sermon in Bristol, England, in which he proclaimed, The grace or love of God, whence cometh our salvation, is free in all and free for all. 283 years later, we're humbled to proclaim that message through this Grace for All podcast. Thank you for listening to today's message of grace. I'm Jonathan Jonas, Senior Pastor of First United Methodist Church in Maryville, Tennessee, where the Grace for All podcast is written, edited, and produced by our lay members. To know more about our congregation and its ministries, please visit our website at firstchurch.org. That's the number one, S-T-C-H-U-R-C-H dot O-R-G.